Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. Back with another video a day until this channel hits 100K. Forgot how many videos I'm at now, 50 something. Uh, today I wanna do an update video, or actually I think this might even be my first video on my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon 3D printer. I have had this thing for quite a while now, 42 days and 13 hours of print time on this machine. Right now I am running the most ambitious print that I have ever done in terms of time, which is uh, 25 hours and 23 minutes, which is going to be an engine block that uh, I'm just printing for fun. And it's going to be pretty darn big. This is going through its whole configuration process now, but I have actually printed a ton of stuff. This is actually just some of it. And that's what I wanna walk you guys through is just how awesome this has been as a creator, somebody who's constantly building. I'm always working on stuff. You can see here, my office is pretty well organized. The desk is kind of a hot mess right now, but this was probably one of the first things that I had done with the 3D printer was actually printed out just a whole bunch of these stackable bins and really quickly realized I don't need to design anything because these kinds of, I think these are called Gridfinity containers, they exist on a website called Printables and there's so much useful stuff on this website. Ridiculous how much stuff you can come in here and just type in, uh, let's say, bin, and you get just a whole bunch of different kinds of bins. And let's just say I wanted to grab this trash can, download it, open it up. You can just come in and make it like whatever size you want. Just drag it around, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you want slice that plate. So without ever having to design anything, you can just come in here and start using pre-designed uh, things and kind of start that way. That's really how I did it. That's where those bins came from. But I've also gotten into designing things myself uh, in Fusion, uh, which is an Autodesk product, which I'm gonna try to find another product because I'm not a big fan of Autodesk right now. But uh, I digress. But these are just a couple examples. I've printed a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll show you things in the garage also. Uh, what I've loved so much, is, <laughs> this is the loudest the machine gets, by the way. It's going through a calibration and you'll see here shortly, it's actually pretty darn quiet. But it's not about the expense of these kinds of things. Cause you can easily, if I was anti 3D printer or thought this was ridiculous, I'd look at these little plastic things and go, I can go to the dollar store and get this thing for a few bucks. But the key is, these are built exactly to the specs that I need. So this, which I can't currently show you now because it's hooked up to the truck, but this is my Waysafe hitch mount container. And it all fits in here ex perfectly, like down to the millimeter of accuracy. So it doesn't take up more room than I need. Uh, this over here is a projector we have this for, it's actually a super cheap garbage projector from Amazon. I think it was like a hundred bucks. And we project movies in the backyard. And I got really annoyed having to carry all of this cables, cords, remotes, all this crap in and out of the house. So I just designed this down to, again, the millimeter for all of the things I need to carry this thing outside and have my own little carrying case for that. I made this because I was traveling for work a ton and I always have these like little travel things and underneath our bathroom vanity, they were just all over the place and I never knew what I had, how many I needed. So this, I'm actually running out of the travel toothpastes and I'll just order up the travel toothpastes and they fit in there perfectly and just keeps all of that organized. Same with the cotton swabs. These are all things that I travel with all of the time. So just a couple examples of some things. These come in really handy. These are little cable wraps. And again, as a traveling technical solutions executive, I would have tons of cables because I had to do demos all the time. And every office has, you know, there's different connections. So you always need to have the right connectors and they're just all over the place. But this, you literally just keep all your stuff organized, throw it in a bag and there you go. And I actually have a bunch of extra ones there. I've 3D printed some tools for the bamboo printer itself. If I open up the drawer in here, 3D printed a little organizer for all of the parts and pieces for the printer itself. All the print heads, that kind of stuff in there. Uh, a couple little extra trays that I've kind of made up over time. Uh, you do get into the situation where you need uh, measuring tools. So, you know, just having some nice tools on hand for uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, there's kind of quite a bit there. Now this whole cart setup 
has been fantastic as well. This Trinity Basics cart I found from Tractor Supply, and it was the only cart that I could find that fit in this spot perfectly, fit a printer, theoretically could fit a second printer if I wanted to, but fit everything that I needed. And then down here, I've got all of my different kinds of uh, filaments ready to rock and roll. I just like having all of these uh, different colored filaments. I got a whole bunch back there. I pretty much when I need one, I just buy what I need. And then I've just collected them over time. A couple of them, I stock extras in normal colors. I 3D print way more than I ever thought that I would. And it has been really awesome. So even stupid stuff like this. I bought this little hat holder, which works out great, but it wasn't tall enough. So I built this little 3D printed extension for something like that. A uh, little garbage can. You can find little garbage cans everywhere, but you can't find one that fits this exact spot that I had to put a garbage can and that worked out perfect. So again, you just find yourself being enthralled with how much stuff you can print to fit exact spaces that you need. Um, up here, I 3D printed some little stands for things that I wanted to put on display up there. 3D printed these signs over here. This one's actually backlit with some LEDs for the channel. Designed all that stuff, which that's a little more, I guess, aggressive in terms of what your average person might do. But the Hoonigan sign, forgot about that. That Hoonigan sign, it's actually kind of funny. A lot of this stuff back here has got a lot more behind it than what you might think. But this has a specific meaning to me. I'm gonna make a whole video on this Hoonigan sign because it actually, it, it's, it means a lot. Out here in the garage, there is some more examples of things that I 3D printed. These, I found this pencil holder that had magnets that you could glue on the back and that was great. But it was a separate, just one siloed cup holder. I just put three of them together and it printed them all together. So now it's all one unit, sits on the wall there. Here's actually another really good example. These little Milwaukee Rover lights. I use these for YouTube videos all the time, but it's a really, really harsh light very harsh light actually. So this light diffuser just pops on there and makes it a much less harsh light and creates a much, it's just a lot softer light for uh, filming and love those. The most recent thing that I 3D printed out here is I bought this little desk top surface because I want something that I can roll around the garage and have my laptop out and just a, a little bit better of a work surface. These legs were really actually quite ridiculous because they, well, they're just regular legs. But the issue was there, you can see I've 3D printed these little wedges and it was interesting because these wedges had to, the, the legs not only slope down this way, but they also taper in, gets more narrow on the inside. So that was actually a really interesting piece to have to design. And then those wedges allowed me to create or cut this piece of plywood. And now instead of having useless legs on the bottom of this thing, I've got a nice little trash can spot. So just uh, really interesting to be able to look at these kinds of different things and think about how you can 3D print and make things better. We're uh, actually about to go and do some MPG testing in the truck. I also created or made this bracket. Uh, when I stop for food or anything on the road, sometimes I like to watch YouTube videos, but if I'm parked at an angle, the way that this little lip here that I set my phone up on, it likes to fall and then just smash down and create all kinds of havoc in the truck. So with this little bracket, I can sit here and watch YouTube videos. It also has a uh, little slot on the back uh, side so I can plug it in if I'm gonna be stopped for any length of time and wanna charge the phone there. And it's just a nice way to make use of this space here that otherwise doesn't do any good at all. So those are just some examples of things that I've 3D printed. There's a ton more around the house of things that even my wife will be like, hey, can you 3D print this or whatever? And then don't even get me started on my daughter. She's constantly wanting me to 3D print all kinds of little toys and gadgets, which we do all the time. But now my engine block here is printing and you can see it's uh, this, the pace of which this thing prints is so fast it is obnoxiously quick how fast this thing blows down the uh, pla plastic here it's just so cool to watch this thing go and also to be able to just set it and forget it i will let this run all through the night it will be fine no problems whatsoever uh, now i also have the ams this is the automatic material 
system, I believe is what that stands for. So you can have four different colors here, which does work out nice for color changes. You can set it up so you can actually print different colors. I don't usually do that a lot because it takes a lot longer for it to change those colors, but it is nice to have the four colors you use all the time ready to rock and roll. All in this machine has been an absolute monster of a workhorse for me. The whole reason why I bought the Bamboo Labs printer is because it really is a set it and forget it kind of device. It's not really difficult to design things. There's a little bit of thought process that goes into it, but I think anybody, literally anybody, could get into some of these 3D design software programs and design things that are square, rectangle. When you start getting into like the triangle type stuff, it gets a little bit more complicated. I'm not gonna get into uh, how much design or how difficult the design stuff is. There's plenty of other YouTube videos out there, but this is that wedge that I was talking about that I designed for that desk out there. It tapers in this spot here down, so I actually have to uh, maneuver this around. But even with this print, you just come in here and say, automatically reorient it. It'll reorient it to the way you need it to, and then it'll just go ahead and print that whole thing out. So it's, uh, it's really cool to get into this, designing these things and learning how to get into the 3D editing side of things. If you're like me and you're already in like the creator side of like editing videos and you already have this mindset of like layering things it's i think a little easier to grasp if you're not really interested in learning the 3d design programs and you're just going to rely on like the printables website or anything where there's like canned things you really would have to want to just have a cool gadget with the 3d printer to like get into something like that but if you are willing to learn how to do any of the 3d design stuff even just doing like i've kind of shown here creating some storage bins and things like that for around the house. I think it is absolutely worth it. That's my opinion, but that's coming from somebody who, again, just loves building things and creating things. Uh, and the 3D printer is just a super awesome outlet for it. I can't tell you the number of times around the house that I've been like, oh, I gotta go uh, get to Home Depot for whatever. And I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just make one and 3D print it. I do it all the time. Um, but there's also all times where I've literally paid for a 3D printed part because for me it was like, ah, that by the time I design it, whatever, I'll just pay somebody else who's already done it and ran a print 30 bucks and buy something. Um, so it's, it's kind of interesting. You're starting to see a lot more 3D printing stuff around, but Bamboo Labs, this machine has been flawless. I have had no issues. The, the AMS, the, the automatic material system, I had a problem with the, the, the day that I bought it. It wasn't working right. They sent me out a new, uh, I forgot what the part was, hub, I think it was, was broken. It's been a while. And um, I replaced it and it's worked fine. I have had zero issues. As a matter of fact, I don't think I have any prints ever fail on this thing. And it's mind blowing how good of a machine this is. So if you're interested in 3D printing, I would recommend the Bamboo Labs. I'm not affiliated with Bamboo Labs at all, but this it's, it's been a game changer for me. With that said, thank you guys very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I will see you guys next time. I'm actually super excited to see how this engine block turns out because this is gonna be pretty rad.